G'day mate, and welcome back to Dyson Sphere with me, Jetty, and of course, the wonderful, impatient Mr. Icarus, or, or Icarus Prime, could be an Icarus Prime. Today's episode, today's episode, we're hoping to get through a bunch of things. Um, as you can see, Icarus has already put me on the clock, so can you do me a couple of favours? Um, can you click the like button on the video, where you can get that out of the way? At the same time, if you're brand new to this series, uh, there is a top link in the playlist, uh, well, top link in the description is the playlist. You can go back and start watching episode one if you want, because we're planning on going to a mega base. But first, we need to get off world. We need to start mining other planets, because obviously we're not going to make a Dyson Sphere just mining out the resources on our home world. So to do that, this episode, we need to get a bunch of things done. First off, we need to research uh, the magnetic levitation technology. The reason we need those is we need them for the magnetic particle trap, being that research. We all, we need the magnetic particle trap to make the planetary logistics, the uh, towers, planet, planetary logistics station, because we need a planetary logistics station to make an interstellar logistics station. We also need an, uh, logistics vessels, which requires uh, the reinforced thruster all the way down here. On top of that, it's going to require the uh, structural matrix. It, Hello science, we need to actually get off world to get this done. Uh, the other item it's going to require is titanium alloy, a high strength titanium alloy, which is yellow science. So we need to get it off world to get titanium by Icarus, because that's the only way we can get off world currently. And then we need to manually transport items back before we can automate it with the interstellar logistics station. Which means we need yellow science. Before we get yellow science, we're going to knock out all the red and blue there is, which is just those three. And then we can queue up, well, that. That's the first one that we're going to need. And we can queue up that one as well now. Okay. So, to make these things, uh, the one we're researching right now, uh, the particle container requires graphene. We don't have graphene. We can, if we bring up the freaking crafting menu, we can make graphene, but I don't have graphene. So, to make graphene, uh, we need sulfuric acid. We also need uh, energetic graphite, which we've got one of the two. So, we also need to make sulfuric acid. So, we need to make sulfuric acid. Which is going to require refined oil, plus it's going to require coal, plus it's going to require water. On top of that, in this particular series, we are doing our very, very best to proliferate everything. So, first thing is, we're going to need refined oil, which is up here in these storage tanks. Uh, we're going to need stone. Oh, conveniently, stone is there. And water. Well, water looks like the easy one of the three. So, I need to take my Go Faster Juice and put in another sky belt now sky belts in case you're new here basically a belt that is one tile higher than a wind turbine because that's about the right height that when bots leave icarus they get thrown a certain amount of tiles in the air and we might notice that they get thrown about that high which means making a sky belt is actually faster than making belts on the ground so it means hopefully we can get this built whilst we walk across the map. Uh, I do want to stop and grab a storage tank, singular. Uh, I also want to dump off the labs that we don't need. We also have smelters, I have water pumps. Oh, people have mentioned that water pumps are not automated in uh, my mall, which is a blueprint that is available because that's the other point of this playthrough. We are trying to make as many blueprints as possible, but not only early game, but also late game. Uh, can I raise that belt up, please? That's one top. There we go. Uh, up that there. Um, that's true. It, it, it really, really, really does not make in the slightest uh, pumps. Because, honestly, you need about 50 of them. And it does automatically craft uh, electric motors. They are available in a box right here. So you can go pick those up. That's the hardest part to craft. Everything else, we we, do, we just handcraft 50 of them. Once we go off-world, and there will be a later blueprint when we get off-world, where you need some of those things, uh, you know, we'll, we'll be fine. Um, we'll, we'll have a different automated ball that will make all those things. Uh, we're going to grab those two sprayers because we're going to need a few sprayers this episode. And that stuff was being sprayed twice because things changed as we moved along. We also need to bring our refined oil with us, which we're going to bring that way first. 
And I don't know where this is going to go. So before we go too much further, let's grab wind turbine, i.e. draggable power poles, and drag them up and around the corner. Because we need to get miners. Okay. So we're going to grab stone. Stone should be as easy as... Uh, just throw down the miners. As I've said before, and I'll say it again, I don't spend a lot of time, you know, trying to get the maximum out of the mine. The only important things to me is every single node has to be covered. So we missed one node. So let's put you down again. I, I, I want every node covered. I don't ever want to come back and find that there's, there's one little node sitting there that was never picked up because that's just annoying. Uh, and... That's about it, because the early game, a lot of the stuff you're building, you're probably going to tear up, honestly. Uh, so we're going to put a belt there for stone. Uh, we're going to bring that miner out, plug that in there, plug that in there, that in there, that in there, that in there, and that in there. We now know wind turbines there, then here, then there, and that'll do us. Uh... Real power poles, one, two, three. Is that gonna power that one? Yep, okay. So that is gonna be our stone belt. Stone belt, we are gonna want a sprayer on it. Let's go with there. We're gonna want water, which we're gonna put on that side, which is gonna need another sprayer. That's not where I wanted that spray. Okay. Uh, hey, there's that research we needed. We also eventually Want refined oil so let's put that uh nice and close let's go with that tile for the moment um we're gonna have to recharge it i get some power tap please he does have fuel he's burning through it very very quickly and oh that's another research done yeah since we went and proliferated all our science um we tend to fly through the science fairly quickly now uh okay so that's us recharged, and we also need our goo belt, our go faster juice, which we'll work out that in a minute. All right, so uh, talk about water. Water, water pumps, we're gonna throw down these, like I said, not automated, handcraft you up 50. You only need them for like three different things early game, and then you'll need a lot of them when you get off planet and you start mass using water. And really sulfuric acid, the fact that it's a water pump, and if you put it in a sulfuric acid pond, it comes out with sulfuric acid. Seems great, except it's got a water pump rather than just a liquid pump. Anyway, uh, we're going to dump across a bunch of those there. The reason is they don't pump very quickly at all. So I tend to put in too many-ish. Uh, probably don't want that. No. Uh, I tend to put in too many uh, because eventually there's a chance we may upgrade this belt to a Mark II belt. Okay, can I tag that one in there? Uh, that one, that one, that one, that one. Okay. And then power pole there, 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 wind turbine there, there, and there. Okay. So, we have water. Uh, we also have our stone. We have two out of three ingredients we're going to need for acid. Uh, I need chemical plants. So we're going to put in chemical plants. Now, to make sulfuric acid, I'm not going to do, I'm not going to explain the ratio on this one. I'm just going to give you the answer. It's eight. I need eight to get a full belt of six per second because we're proliferating it. Oh, uh, that's a milestone. Uh, milestones really quickly. There goes the speaker. Uh, go away. P. Mil no, no, milestone. Milestone. That's the one. Uh, we just got chemical plants. So we're at 10 out of 42 milestones, but also achievements. So let me turn back on. We, between episodes, picked up. No, we picked up uh, 60 megawatts of electricity from wind turbines last episode. And I think. Yeah. We're, we're, we're picking up whatever achievements we can along the way. All right. So. Chemical plants. You're going to make sulfuric acid, okay? You need uh, a lot of stone. The stone's obviously in the closer belt. Uh, some water. 
and also some refined oil. So we're going to give you a slow sorter, a slow sorter, uh, refined oil. We're going to give you an output belt first for the acid, then the input belt for the refined oil, which is this belt, which we're going to plug into here. And then again, another sprayer because we want to spray I really want to spray everything I can. Like, sometimes it doesn't make sense resource or allocation wise. It's fine. I want to spray everything we possibly can. In saying that, we do have a problem that I can't really make more sprayers because they require silicon and we don't have any source of silicon yet. Only when I magically found uh, breaking up rocks on the ground, these rocks, usually when you break up some rocks, you find some silicon. So it's a finite ish resource. Uh, I want. We're down to ground level, up one tile, line that up with that one there, that one there, and run that through all three machines. Hey, we can now make yellow cubes if we have the bits and bits. All right, I'm going to plug that in there. So we're going to put refined, no, we're going to put in out acid in refined oil. Uh, the bot's going to finish building that eventually. Oh, God, they're, they're building everything. Robots, let's do the sky belt first. Because, like I said, these are so much faster to build than belts on the ground. Right, nine times a ten. By the time I get the charging down and I get to stand the second center of it for a second, belt's done. Okay. So, uh, we're going to go back over here. Go closer. Uh, we need to put in power poles, obviously. Uh, I love chemical plants on the fact that there seems to be a gap in tension chemical plants where I can always fit a power pole right here. A giant fan on. Bang. Alright, so that should be power, that should be belts, which means I can grab that, drag it along. All done. Oh, actually, can I open that sprayer, please? Yes, because I have juice in my inventory that I'd like to get rid of. Cool. All right. So we are making sulfuric acid. Great. Storage. I want one. Just one storage tank right here. Because the storage tank holds 10,000 liquid. Okay. Done. Now, this is going to be proliferated. Uh, once everything balances out, we'll actually get... Yeah, we're, we're, we're still slowly clearing out the buffer of the bad stuff. Uh, yeah, we are gonna get 20% There we go. 20% extra products. Perfect. Alright. So we've got acid. Project number one done. Project number two is if we click on acid and then click on refined oil. Refined oil actually goes into two ingredients. The other one is plastic. We need plastic. So we're going to put down a bunch of chemical plants. Uh, to make plastic. Now, they require the refined oil in. They also require energetic graphite. Uh, and we'll look at this really quickly and we'll go through the ratio on this one. So, plastic. Plastic requires three seconds and our belts move six items per second. So, if I want to make six plastic per second, I need three times that amount worth of refineries, which means I need 18 refineries. Minus, if I'm going to proliferate everything, the 20% proliferation bonus, which means I need 15 refi uh, uh, 15, 15 chemical plants, not refineries, to make uh, six plastic per second. I am not going to worry about trying to get six per second. We're just going to worry about just trying to make some plastic. So we're going to put a chemical plant right there, and I am going to conveniently drag this out eight, because we happen to have eight of the previous, so it should line up nicely uh, to right there. Okay, after we get to here, I am going to want to recharge Icarus of power poles. Uh, we're going to want a power pole here, 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 and here. Uh, the other thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to store up. I'm going to want to reverse those. Yeah. Uh, which may reverse this. Bye. 
I'm fairly... Alright, so I want you to be the output. And you to be the input. Put up all output. Put. Uh, and that to there, there. And we'll just wait for that to get built. Same time storage. I want a little buffer box. Uh, the little buffer box is purely because we know we're not going to be able to run this at full speed. Uh, so I want to be able to put a little buffer here that I'm going to have one input and two outputs of our buffer boxes always. And our little buffer box that could is just going to make sure that when we have shortfalls, which is going to be majority of the time if we try and use it at full speed, uh, the buffer box can sort of handle the difference. All right, we're going to drag that to there so we can get those sorters drop that one there and the bots have nothing to do so they're off going to clear off some trees but you need energy graphite now conveniently somebody over here i believe left a smelter pre-set up to do energy graphite which look along this dark line we can see that the input is... That's my input belt. That's my other input belt. I just need to get stuff down to there and across to there. What we're going to do is we come out of here, down to there. Then another research done. And now we're out of research. We're going to find the exact height to go over a wind turbine, which is that. And we are going to go from there to there as a sky belt. And then down to there. Because like I said, these are just these these belts, if I don't zoom in too far, are so much faster to build. Okay, than belts on the ground. On top of that, it means that even though I'm very, very close to like clipping this stone patch, because it's up in the air, it doesn't matter. I can place the buildings underneath. Right? So guy belts. Guy belts. Love them. Uh use them. They're, they're, they're going to make one hell of a difference because, yeah, I could put miners up to that without an issue. All right. But with that done, that should be that hooked up. Now, I'm already proliferating the refined oil. So I should proliferate the graphene. Graphite. Which you can't go on a raised bit. But you can go conveniently right there. But we need to get spray our, our, our go faster juice into that one as well. Uh, so we're going to grab the belt out of here, bring it out one tile, and at one tile, and there. And then we're going to feed it straight into that one. Okay, so we're going to get our go faster juice to go around and into the next build, which is good because we have one build, two builds, two builds, two more builds to do. Because we were trying to get to graphene. And we don't have graphene yet. Uh, remove, remove, remove. Here, because I go fast, the juice will be hooked up. Cool. Alright. Go fast, the juice. Uh, actually, I still have some of that maybe to do. There we go. Alright, so that will, once it's filtered through, that'll start giving us a productivity bonus, which is perfect for our plastic. And we just want a buffer box. Probably only one row of a buffer box, but a buffer box. Now, the next one is graphene. Uh, same story. We want to try and make six per second. And we can see it requires three seconds to craft. Okay, so three times six to get a full belt's worth would be 18. But we get two per craft, so it means nine. Nine is the magic number I need. Uh, minus 20% because we're going to proliferate it, which means I need eight, which means you can do sulfuric acid to graphene as a direct insertion. We're choosing not to do that because we're going to need this research. Uh, titanium alloy in the future, we're going to need sulfuric acid for. So we are going to intentionally choose to have two separate builds rather than a direct insertion. Uh, also, it's uh, to... to uh, proliferating through direct insert. We're going to go... We're going to plan out the belts, actually. 
Can I go up? I need to run acid. Um, I should need to graphite. Not a lot, because you don't actually have the refined. That belt looks pretty slow. Okay, perfect. All right, so we're going to take our energy graphene build. Uh, graphene, graphite, one or two. This one, we're going to take this belt. We're going to bring it up a little bit. Uh, and as we can see, we're going to come to here before it levels out. But I can chew, chomp that one off the end. Bring it over here. Uh, to... Where are we trying to hit? We're trying to hit like there. Uh... So let's go up an extra tile. Two here. Uh, then to there. Then down to ground level. Get to ground level fast enough? I think so. Mm, roughly there. Roughly there. Because uh, we need to look at a chem plant. I want eight of them. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So the builder ended there. But I could move it back a few tiles. So we're going to move it back every tile we can. Because we, we, we're trying to get the achievement of finishing the game without using foundations. So if I can save myself a little bit of space, we're going to save ourselves a little bit of space. On top of that, I need to... So the energetic graphene comes in here. It's proliferated. goes all the way around. Great. Uh, the acid does not. So we need to peripherate that one as well with a sprayer, which I'm going to put right there. And we're just going to have... Oh, no, no. We're going to flip it around the other way. Production. Yeah. Okay, uh, that way. Have it come into there. Uh, and then join straight back in. And I didn't fill it up quick enough, so it's already full. Cool. Alright, and then we're going to drop that belt to ground level, bring it along there as far as we need to, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That belt in there, that moved, that goes to there, and this, oh, I'm going to need a belt for the other side for the output, done, obviously some charge poles, because out of, out of power again or getting there change the recipe over graphene okay the graphene same story uh in in out uh it's not going to be proliferated till we drain the belt of the unproliferated stuff but that'll happen uh, fairly quickly in time one two Three, four. Apples out. You guys are all done. And then the last thing we need, as always, is going to be a buffer box. We're just going to put a little buffer box there. We're going to bring that to there, that to there, and do a input and an output. Ah, uh, no, two outputs. Because we want to be able to put it out faster. We put it into the box. Okay. So that's that problem done. Uh, same story, I want to just save about a row's worth, not a lot more. Delete that. Uh, anything else in my inventory I want to delete? No. I'm done. Okay, so with that out of the way, next thing I want to look at is we have used most of our sprays. I have five left. Okay. Uh, we are spraying the acid, we are spraying the uh, energetic graphite, graph graphene, whatever it is. <gasps> I'm spraying most things, but I'm really, really short on sprays. On top of that, the other thing that I really want to get is... I want to be able to get the geothermal power station. The geothermal power station requires super magnetic, magnetic rings, which require an electromagnetic turbine. Which we also need those to make the particle contain. They're probably going to be things we're going to be covering in the next episode because they require the, the, the electromagnetic turbines, which is a horrible build. Trust me. 
One thing that we would like to have just a little bit of is silicon. So I could potentially make more sprayers because I can tell you for a fact we're going to need a lot more sprayers for the next bit. Not have it. Not really, honestly. No, oh, you do have coal. It's just taking a while to get there. Sort of being chewed along the way. Okay, that's fine. All right. So, um, I want to be able to make sprays. Now, I do have a recipe here to make silicate ore. It's a bad recipe. Like, it's a really, really bad recipe. You should avoid this at all costs. Because it's 10 stone in over 10 seconds gives you one silicon ore. You're basically burning stone in exchange for silicon. But... Luckily, if we come out to planet view, uh, I have a good amount of stone. Like, a good amount of stone. Uh, do I have a little stone patch that I don't really want? Uh, I am... 750. Looks like the ones right in front of me are actually some of the smallest. Um, I have stone patches on my stone patches on my stone patches. So stone is not really an issue. So we're going to, whilst we're standing here at this stone patch, just put a little build down. Oh, we found a rock. Uh, okay, so we're going to mine this. Uh, again, coverage matters more and speed than anything else because your limitations... Look, we're all adults here. Well, I, according to the analytics here, we, we're, we're all adults, or at least pretending to be. Because um, I know during my earlier years, I was definitely pretending to be an adult half the time. Uh, time is your limit. A time and the overall performance of your computer. Uh, so I don't spend a lot of time getting maximum coverage. I spend a lot of time getting uh, miners thrown down and move on to the next project. Uh, like I said, always, I just want to make sure everything's covered. So we want a small smelting setup. Uh, let's go with right there. And the only thing I want to do, I don't want to proliferate this build at all, make it nice and simple. We just want a bunch of smelters. Uh, there, there. All right. Bunch of smelters. I want to have 10 smelters in a row. A lot more than we've had previously. Three, six. Uh, that's all I get. Seven. I'll take seven. Okay. Seven smelters. Uh, we're going to have an output belt, which we're going to wrap around the corner. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I can actually get ten in on the other side. Uh, so we're going to bring that belt to here. Yeah, things are going to get awkward because we're going to we're sort of shoving this build in the corner, and we're going to make uh, do a cardinal sin. And we're going to build over one of the fault lines. All right. Uh, I want to bring in stone on that side as well, and we've got half the miners hooked up. I want to bring. That miner to there, to there, to there. I'm gonna plug that miner to there. That one to there. There, please. Come on. And one. Alright. Uh, I think a wind turbine here, here. Probably not. And just. Okay. And power pole. Everybody powered? Cool. Alright, what we want to do is we want to go sort of in, sort of out, sort of out, sort of in. Uh, I want you to do the recipe of silicon ore, and we want to drag that out. But I have to manually put down that sort of, because it's an odd position. And same story here. I want to copy that recipe, paste that recipe, and drag that one out. Uh, okay, so that's our silicon. Silicon ore. Uh, dump that in there. Alright. After we get silicon being processed, uh, it helps if I do some power poles problem. We're going to have to put on the outside because I potentially didn't leave the base because we're going to be hard up against another build. Alright. If I take my silicon ore, we can turn that into high purity silicon. Okay. And again, I want the tiniest smelter build because 10 smelters in a row doing a recipe that takes uh, 10 seconds to craft means I'm only going to get out. I'm going to put in 
10 silicon per, per uh, 10 stone 10 stone per second over 10 of them i'm gonna get one silicon per second i don't even think i can feed three of these smelters uh but we're gonna build three anyway and then a storage box okay and its only purpose is to make just just a tiny bit of silicon i'm gonna intentionally cap this to mm, three tiles like uh, not a lot because at the end of the day uh oh should we proliferate that Okay, no, we're going to proliferate that one. Uh, oh. We're going to bring you down and up to there. And then back. Because it's so precious. 20% extra. Sounds like a deal. Okay. Uh, where were we? Forage box run. Uh, yes, I and yeah, I want to cap this very, very, very low. I think one stack. One stack's a hundred. I want to cap this very, very low because, like I said, it's super critical. We're, we're, we're putting a lot of stone into not a lot of silicon. Like, really, really not a lot of silicon. Um, I had a few hundred from, well, picking up trees over the, half the map. Half the map has been deforested at this point. Uh, or the rock to this. Okay, uh, we need to pop back to here. And I want to dump what wood I have and what leaves I have. Because we can see that our boxes are actually empty of all the wood already. Um, we've done that good a job at just converting it all into organic crystals. Which, as I said before, we actually need later on to make titanium crystals. Which again, requires us to go off world to get titanium. <gasps> What? Once we go off the world, get titanium, we should be good. Actually, speaking of titanium... Smelter. Can I get a smelter in... Oh, uh, the titanium. So we have found titanium again by ripping up the rocks. Pull that out. We will leave the stone in there. So we're going to have two smelters. Uh, and this is why I have these storage boxes. You, sir, are going to do that recipe, and you, sir, are going to do that recipe. We are going to output input. So that'll move some of the stone, which we have found for some reason, some of the stone that we've dug up from the ground came pre peripherated for some reason. We're going to grab whatever stone we can in the boxes and convert it directly into... Uh, Silicon, which will then take back over the other smelter system and smelt. The other thing, take sort of do because the titanium recipe is two titanium ore for one titanium, and we have what one two the one two hundred mm, three hundred ish. 250-ish, 260-ish titanium. Uh, potentially. So where can I... Uh, right here. So we're going to make the worst sprayer build ever. Uh, yep, place you around the belt. Belt... Um, much that. That's all we need. Uh, we want storage box. Okay. Uh, maybe not. Uh, all right. No, no, no. We'll put a storage box this side. Storage box that side. Storage box that side. We want a smelter on that side. We're gonna have you do titanium. We need that box to actually go over a tile. You input, output, output, jaw, uh, throw all the titanium in there, which should get proliferated before heading in here, which means we're going to get 20% extra. Like I said, because it's a super finite resource, i.e. It's only, it's only what we found on the planet. Same goes for the uh, organic crystals. It's only what we found on the planet, plus what trees and leaves we've cut down, which... 
early on when you got a little bit more time you might spend more time cutting things late game if, if, if it gets in your way it just gets to more honestly uh, pull that out yeah not make it fast but that's a wrap we don't need it to make it fast and we'll take this up here and hopefully I left myself a way to get a box somewhere into that production line yeah that'll do and in that box we shall put those and we shall actually push a little bit just, just just open the belt up and move that to one side grab the yeah, the the the, the, the I feel like we'll just physically put it on the belt. Done. Alright. So you're... You've already got a hundred. Okay. Plus we're going to store an extra one, two, three hundred. I don't need that. No. The smelter can stack up to a hundred in it. Eighty-eight. Thirty-seven. Nine. Yeah, we're not going to have any sort of storage. Alright. Uh, I have three sprayers. We are going to need more sprayers but that's going to be for the next episode the bots are off trying to clean up things uh our acid build is going great yep we're making acid our plastic build Oops. goes into the organic crystals not too there's the titanium crystals which is all about yellow science and these guys go into the particle containers, which, as long as you filled one row of a box, we're good. All right, so what I'm gonna do is, um, as at this particular run, it's all about, for me, it's all about proliferating everything I possibly can. Some of it because it's worth it, some of it just because I can. Uh, on top of that, it is, um, for me, blueprints. So what I'm gonna be doing is I will be cutting Probably without the giant belt going all around the outside and neatening up some of these belts. Also marking these belts, that's something I, I do my very, very best to do. Actually mark the different input belts so you can see what they are. So, uh, I will be cutting up this blueprint and you'll find it on my Discord server. And this is, like I said, the point of this series. I want to have blueprints I can share with you guys. I want to have some blueprints for early game, I want to have some blueprints for mid game, I want to have some blueprints for late game, and then the really, really, really late game. Uh, all my blueprints for previous series are still shared on my Discord server, as these ones will be. So, if you like blueprints, you like the episode, you like to see what happens next, which is going to be, I'll give you a hint, uh, the green and the nasty craft. If you want to see that, uh, by all means, click the subscribe button, because that's what will be happening in the very next episode. We'll be getting a crap ton of those done. At the same time, now that we've unlocked the super magnetic rings... We don't need that many of them to make the geothermal power station. So maybe next episode, maybe not, we'll see. It all depends on how much time it takes me to get through next episode. Uh, we will be looking at... Um, you're probably going off-world because our off-world choices for our system are... Uh, well, we have a lava planet, which is handy because it has a bunch of titanium. Also, has a little bit of silicon, just 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 a little bit to get us up and off uh, off the ground. Also, has a crap ton of iron and copper, which is going to be very very handy because we are mining the planet dry very very quickly. The other th planet we have is, um, funnily enough, it's a tightly locked planet. Not a lava planet or anything fun like that. It's just tightly locked um, with very very strong winds, but it's a desert planet. So, it also has titanium, but no silicon. So, we sort of have a problem that in our home system, we don't have a lot of silicon. Potentially, we have a lot of other resources, but not a lot of silicon. Um, in fact, the second planet doesn't really have anything apart from stone and titanium. So, we can pop over there and get wind power up and running. Maybe convert all the stone to silicon? I don't know. I know, but I'm going to be calling here for this episode. Uh, Icarus's inventory is full. This is why he's not at the ground anymore. Um, well, power is low. All right, um, I'm going to be calling here. So, as always, if you like the video, you'd like to see some more, by all means, click the like button. If you want to grab my blueprints, go join our Discord server. Uh, links have been on your screen. They're also down in the description as well. But with all that said, I'm going to call it here. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the very next episode.